Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a cruise ship tour of Avia, which is a piano cruise ship. So please comment down below any questions, subscribe if you're new, and I hope you enjoy. I'm going to be starting off on deck 19 and work my way down the various decks, but in the description, I'll include all the different deck numbers so you can skip to certain parts if you'd like to. So as you can see, deck 19 is a sun deck, so there's lots of sun lounges and everything for sunbathing, and there are lots of deck chairs that you can see here. And also there are various activities on deck 19 too. So this is the skywalk, which is like high ropes, but you have to pay extra for that. Then we've also got the sports court, which you don't have to pay extra for. And the mini golf, which you do have to pay extra for. But um, when I say extra, I mean, I think it was a below 10 pounds for the mini golf. And you do get to play mini golf in the middle of the beautiful ocean too. There are lots of various activities on the boat to do. Here we have one of the infinity pools and there are various hot tubs and other infinity pools too. They also have a running track which goes around the ship as you can see here, here's part of it. So there's also a gym too which I'll show you later, uh, but if you did want to get outside and stay active, you're not constricted just because you're on a boat. So here's the kids pool which is like the young children's pool, although there are various other pools which I'll show you as well. And here we have some of the sun lounges on the panorama deck. So I'll do a separate video on top tips if you're interested in like how to get a sun lounger, where's best to go, etc. But here you can see there's also down below there like a swim up part to the pool where you can go to the uh, swim up bar as well. There's also various activities including golf and chess. And here you can see we're on to deck 17. So this is part of it, one of the bars called the Crow's Nest, which was just beautiful views. And the main part of deck 17, as you can see here, is the Sky Dome. So this can be opened up if it's sunny or if it's raining or cold or nighttime, then they close it like this. And as you can see here, this has a cinema screen. It also has a pool and whirlpools, so again, this can be covered if the weather is bad. And then the iconic big Avia chair is here too. So there are lots of kids clubs, including a nursery and a night nursery. I think it goes up to the age of 18, so there's something for everyone. There are also various activities, including table tennis, shuffleboard, and I hope I'm pronouncing this right, Quoits. Then decks 9 to 15 are cabins, so I've already done a full cabin tour which I'll link in the description below too, so you can watch that after this. But on each of the residential decks there's also a laundrette with ironing boards and washing machines. So now into the main part of the ship, the atrium. So as you can see here, here's one of the restaurants. This is a gastro pub um, called Kiel and Cow, but there are various restaurants on board. Some of them you have to pay for, some of them are free. This one you have to pay for. However, this one here, the keys is free. So there are three different types of cuisine here, fish and chips, fusion and a carvery. And as you can see here, this is an example of what you could get, a katsu curry. There's also an ice cream parlor, which again, you've got to pay extra for. And as you can see, they do various things. And there are a couple of other restaurants on here too. As you can see there on deck eight, there's a sunset bar. And that includes various hot tubs too. And on deck seven, there's the headliners theater. More on that later. And there's also a photo gallery. So there are professional photographers on board to take your photos. Then you can pick your favorite one and get them printed there. And also learn about different excursions. 
Reception's also located on deck 7 too, so you can ask any questions there. Then there's the Glass House, which is absolutely beautiful, and uh, Zenith Restaurant too um, in this area. And as you can see, they've got gorgeous views of the ocean. There's also various shops, so I'm just going to show you a couple of the things that are in there. But primarily, as you can see, jewellery, books and various travel essentials, different like tablets and plasters, things like that. There's also watches ranging from high street to expensive watches. And different toys as well in the toy shop. There's also cosmetics including makeup, perfume, etc. And various handbags too, including designer brands Mulberry, um, Louis Vuitton and also Marc Jacobs. Some of these are pre-owned and some of these are brand new. There are a couple of other restaurants here, so the Olive Grove, the Meridian, and Sixth Street Diner, and all of these are included within the price, so they're free. And here we're showing the jukebox and the quarters needed to use it. So this is another bar, Anderson's Bar. And we've got the theatre here, which includes a cinema too. So this cinema um, has various films and you can also watch films in your room. There's also an escape room activity, again, an extra fee. And the 710 Club, which is Gary Barlow's club. So sometimes he's actually on board this ship as well. There's also a silent disco and various other clubs and bars on board. And here we've got the Amber Lounge. The Limelight Club. And the White Wall Gallery. And here in this gallery, you can actually buy any of the artwork. Now moving on, there's the spa and the gym too. I didn't get to film too much here because it's really busy and I was trying not to show faces. And now I just wanted to end on showing you some of the different types of entertainment that they have. So every day in your cabin, you'll get given um, all the different times and the entertainment that are available. But here are just some examples of entertainment acts. There were tribute acts and also just other general performers. So I really hope you've enjoyed. Please subscribe if you're new and thank you so much for watching. Bye.